Hey guys, good morning, what's up? I'm Yalik, and in today's Boom Beach video, we are back on my mid-level Boom Raider account, and we have been making some mischief down here, and I figured I would share some of that, the tricks and tips that I never had when I first started playing this game. It is amazing what is possible when you know what you're doing. So, without further ado, let's make something go boom. This is Neo Slayer, level 48. You'll note I'm a level 43. And he has a base design that is just terrible against Heavy Zuka. Terrible. I don't know if it's good against anything else. Probably tanks. Um, but you can park in so many places and not have to worry about too many things shooting you um, very quickly. So... As I look at this, there's a great parking spot back here, and nothing behind would be shooting at you. You're going to see me park over here. Uh, you could take out, I mean, you could park up here. There would be nothing behind you shooting at you. Uh, you could park over here, and you might have to do a shock behind. I mean, just all over this base, there are, there are places to attack him. So... Going with the heavy Zuka have been working. I don't know why. It seems to go better at this level than than it does on my, my max level account. Maybe because the bases are easier. I don't know. But I don't even feel like it's that. I feel like my smoking is better. Uh, I feel less harried or calmer, I guess. Anyway, so I have been working really hard with that on both accounts because it really is a just righteous troop combination. Alright, so at about three quarters on the first smoke timer, we pull the heavies up front, we do a little bit of shocking. Um, the rocket will shoot mainly over the top and can't hit most of the Zookas, and just look how fast the health on that HQ evaporates. Boom! And there goes Neo Slayer. He had boosted ice back there, too. And this is why you don't bother having ice at this level. There just aren't even enough defenses to to defend your base, so why bother? You're wasting your time. Um, all right, moving on. G G G G. That's a creative name. <laughs> He's a level 58, and again with the heavy zuka. And I think this is also a two five. And the only thing with this base. You see, I've just blown up a flamethrower back here, and once again, there is nothing in the back of the base to shoot me. Once I get back here and turn around, there's really nothing shooting at me. Um, forwards, yeah, but that's what the heavies are for. Have to clear some mines on this one. He just loaded the front of his beach with his mines. And nope, we want the 4 3 on this one. A little bit more protection for the heavies because he is a bit higher level. So we let everybody get gathered up and a midway flare and just calmly walking. No problems. Everybody's cool. And let the Zookas catch up just a little bit and off we go again. And I think I did just the one smoke on this one. Uh, slightly off to the side of the flare. And then so my troops will sit over there and then flare to the HQ, the heavy step out front. That, that was better done. And boy, that was a terrible shock. I was trying to get both machine guns and I only got one. But it doesn't really matter because the heavies are taking the machine gun fire and the Zookas are just sitting back there untouched, more or less. That is just a thing of beauty. And down goes G, 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 G. Boom. A level 58. And again, I'm a level 43. Like... This is just purely bad base design. That shouldn't be possible for me. <laughs> but it was, as you saw. Um, this is a different approach. Hallow BR uh, 55, and we're going with the 3 4 again. Heavy Zuka, three boats of heavy, four boats of Zuka. And he has one of these spread out bases, which will allow me to avoid a bunch of things. HQ is back here. And you'll notice that this is a complete non-factor. Um, you'll see me parting out a rocket and a rocket. And this is kind of out of the way. Eventually my heavies and critters will end up taking some fire from that, but not much. And that means that really there's only one 
turret in this whole entire base that I am concerned with. And if you can't spot it by now, then you haven't been watching these. Right there. That's all I have to worry about in this entire base. And there's not even much on the way to get to it. My biggest problem here is that there was nothing down over in the corner to hold my troops at the shoreline. You know, like if there were a sniper tower right down here, my troops would just stop and attack it, and that would let everybody group up nicely. But there is no such thing. So I think I flare back on this a little bit to pull the heavies in and get everybody in a tighter, yeah, get everybody in a tighter bunch and then flare off to the corner and start smoking the Zookas. And the main thing I was worried about there was making sure Everspark stayed alive. And I wasn't quite sure how much GBE I would have when I got up here. Uh, so I was ready to flare out. I flared up against the wall. I was ready to flare out into the shock launcher. But I had enough GBE for a shock. And I knew I was going to grab a bunch of GBE right away. Um, the shock went down very quickly, which is beautiful. The hobby step out and take machine gun fire. This smoke that you all got to see is completely unnecessary. <laughs> Uh, I was just trying to cover my back end a little bit. And from here, I mean, there's nothing but economy buildings between me and the HQ. Alright? And the troops will naturally stay up high as they attack the nearest buildings. Those buildings are going to lead them directly to the HQ. That's the path I want with the heavies out front, the critters out front. And they're absorbing this rocket launcher fire. So that's a non-factor. I even tried to shock it down there, I was, and uh, I tried to get all three of these towers and missed it. And it didn't end up mattering. Because, because, you know, that's just a perfect setup. The angles are right there, and the heavies will stay out front, and that's just a thing of beauty. Um, very quickly, I guess, I had a chance to beat Imitation Game today, and this is why. We had a very, very easy Imitation Game for Heavy Zooka, and we'll run these a little faster. But it's the same setup as you were just seeing, with nothing in the back of the base for me to worry about. So you're going to see the same approach that you've seen earlier. We've got a 3-4, and let everybody gather up a mid-flare. Get a little further along. And the, the, the toughest thing here is that I tried to flare into this tiny, tiny little corner and instead ended up getting that building. So that was a bit of an issue, but we corrected pretty quickly and the HQ just went down like butter. And look how many troops are left. That was, I don't even, didn't even, well, let's check the losses on that. So that was stage five, and usually that takes me a couple of hits to get down. We lost seven heavies and four Zookas. That's pretty good. This... Stage 6, and again, normally I can complete stage 6, but that's that takes a couple of attempts. Here again, my biggest problem is, is that there's nothing to fix me on the beach. So my troops are walking further into this base than I would like. But, once again, there's not much back here to be shooting at me. And we're going to peek a little bit out the back of that smoke, but it's kind of okay. Uh, step forward and do a little bit of shocking. I've got about half my girls left and a bunch of heavies and the half the girls is plenty. There's no shield so they're just calmly blasting that HQ away. And I had a real shot on stage 7 today so that left me two attempts on stage 7 because you have one extra attempt. So, so getting those in one uh, gave me two shots to try 7 and I think I really could have had it but on my first attack um, and this was super, super annoying. This is an interesting base design. I suppose there are other ways of going about it, but I looked at the middle of this base, and I was thinking, okay, I can park between these two rocket launchers and flare maybe that shock, and shock this one, probably with the machine gun, a market, whatever. So those towers could all be knocked down with one good heavy zooka attack and clear out the whole middle of that base and then really all I have to worry about is uh, a rocket launcher at the back. So I figured I would leave that for later, save my GB for this part. And I got there to the middle, didn't really bother clearing the mines, I just let the heavies do their thing. 
the heavies tank this boom mine, but they miss the regular mine over here. And look at this does to my girls. Just poof. <laughs> uh, like more than half of them gone straight away. So I get here and flare over to the shock launcher. Shock over there, and very little is happening. Look how slowly that's going down. And um, that, that shock launcher shouldn't have had time to fire if I'd gotten the girls there. But it did, and so just absolutely wrecked that attack. And I tried again for seven, but I wasn't really optimistic about getting it down, and didn't. That one stupid mine. So, I guess little things can make a huge difference in this game, but it was a fair effort. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, given that, you know, this account is only part of the way there. But, anyway, that is how I have been keeping myself busy on this account, and... Hopefully, tonight, I will be keeping myself busy with that. So that should be fun. Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up or drop a comment and say hi. I'm Yalik. Hope you have a great day.